1940, 1950, there was no draft per se. They were trying to get rid of the military. So we didn't have to worry about it. I wasn't, I was only 17. I couldn't sign up for uh, the draft board until I was 18. So I went down and I joined the National Guard. Now I joined because I was going to get paid $2.52 for a two hour drill. Now you just take that and look at it 15 cents an hour. You realize how many hours I have to work to make that $2.52? At the end of two weeks, 15 days, whatever it was, I got paid $31. I found out that $2.52 was for 24 hours. <laughs> now that was my first learning experience. I received a piece of paper from the, the draft board, which I kind of chuckle about, of receiving my, uh, uh, I fulfilled my military obligation. I never felt to this day that I've ever filled my military obligation. Okay, I sat back days and days and think about what I missed. Maybe it wasn't good, but it made a boy into a man. I, I don't feel like you fellas do. And I appreciate everything that anybody that's in the service and has put actual time in. I, I think that's the greatest thing in the world. I wish every man, boy, when they stepped out of high school, had to go through one year of military. It would make them better than what we're, some of them were producing yet today. Yes. Anyway, I want to thank everybody. And you people are what makes this place, not me and my wife. Okay, thank you all. Thank you.